Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zunky. So yesterday there was an awesome new update released with the invention skill where you can now use your skilling methods or at least the fishing and woodcutting skills to train up the invention skill. So I want to make this kind of a first look, kind of a guide video on how to get started with fishing for invention. There's also woodcutting for invention, like I just mentioned, but unfortunately it's not as good of an option. But we'll still touch on that a little bit and you can get some free and, or very low cost anyway invention xp while getting your 99 wood cutting so that's also something you can do um, but it's not nearly as good as the fishing but fishing for invention is a thing it's real it's here and it's awesome so i'm really looking forward to it and let's get started with showing you guys how to get set up with training your invention through the fishing skill once you reach level 22 invention go to any of these invention workbenches and you're going to want to discover three different blueprints the first of which is augmented hatchet if you're planning on getting 99 or 120 woodcutting in the future and want some invention xp along the way might as well get that one out of the way and also discover tool gizmo and fishing rod omatic this is what we'll be using to make fishing not only faster but also very inexpensive invention xp with the rod omatic now that we've discovered the blueprint to make tool gizmo shells make some of them and you're also going to need sharp components and we'll use these to get the two really beneficial skilling perks that you're going to want to put into all of your augmented hatchets and also fishing rods so sharp components are the budget way of getting these perks to put in your augmented tools you can also alternatively if you don't want to mess with sharp components the best way to get them by the way at least if you're trying to go as cheap as possible is run around to any shop that sells slashing type weapons such as scimitars and two-handed swords just buy them and disassemble them and sharp components are fairly easy to come by or you can alternatively buy them off of the grand exchange if you want the best perks as easily as possible however what you're going to need is the components that come from death lotus armor and also the components that come from dragon fire shields so you're going to want to disassemble some of those but that can be pretty pricey now the perks that we're looking for are honed and furnace these go up to level 5 for honed and level 3 for furnace although it's only possible to get the best tier for furnace if you're using dragon fire components which again come from dragon fire shields or by disassembling royal crossbows if you were for example using those to train your invention with once you're satisfied with the perks that you have in your tool gizmos those are good to go because you'll never have to remake them again every time you disassemble your rod you will get your gizmos back and then you can just put them into the next rod so it's definitely worth it if you're going for for example 120 fishing to get the best perks possible to just speed up that process a little bit now there's one final step before we can start fishing either make yourself a fishing rod automatic and it's good to go no need to augment or you can buy yourself a crystal tool seed, which are very expensive, and then augment. The downside to this is not only the price of the seed, but then you also have to actually augment the tool, which means making an augmenter, which can be expensive and painstaking. So now it's finally time to go up to the waterfall and start fishing. Now, if you don't have the requirements for the waterfall, which is 93 fishing, 90 agility, you can do barbarian fishing instead. Obviously, if you have the crystal fishing rod, you're already going to have those requirements because you need to unlock the ability to make it with urchin points. But either way, it's a very AFK way to just get your tool up to level 10, disassemble it. You get the same amount of XP as you would for disassembling a tier 70 weapon with both the rod omatic and the crystal fishing rod. The crystal fishing rod, if you decide to use that, will take a few minutes less to get up to level 10 than the rod omatic. So if it's worth the extra expense for you to use the crystal fishing rod, by all means go ahead and do it the rod omatic is definitely the cheaper option and the materials to create it are fairly easy to come by however so i'm personally going to stick with the rod omatic and either way it takes about two and a half hours to get this up to level 10 at least by doing the highest tier urchin spot at the waterfall fishing and so every two and a half hours you'll be able to disassemble your tool and get 460k invention xp which is a really good amount considering all you're doing is fishing it's really afk really easy to do and this method is also way cheaper than having to buy that expensive combat gear and disassembling that although the downside to fishing of course is it's much slower invention xp per hour if it takes two and a half hours that means you're only getting around 180,000 invention xp per hour effectively which is a lot slower than if you're grinding out with a full set of augmented gear for combat but if you are planning on getting 99 fishing or planning on even going for 120 fishing sometime in the near future 
you might as well do invention at the same time. There's really no reason not to. It's very inexpensive and quite easy. The materials, especially if you're using the fishing rod automatic, do not take too much time out of your day to gather, and you get both skills done at the same time. So I did not forget about using woodcutting to train invention. This is an alternative to doing the fishing. Now you can augment a dragon hatchet or a crystal hatchet. If you have a hatchet on your tool belt, then what you want to do is go to Doc, who is in the invention guild, and with an augmenter in your inventory, just talk to him and he'll get that thing augmented for you. And then you can augment either your crystal or your dragon. So the first thing I wanted to try out is, does this work with divine use? Because I think divine use are generally accepted as like the best way to train woodcutting if you're okay with it taking a really long time and only doing a small amount of woodcutting every single day. Um, but unfortunately, this does not give any hatchet XP. So the best woodcutting method can't be used for training woodcutting, which is the first of many bummers when it comes to invention woodcutting. So right off the bat, the first thing that I can say is I would recommend invention woodcutting only to people who are planning on grinding out a lot of woodcutting XP. If you're not wanting to get it long term by doing divine use, but you want to just get woodcutting done, get 99 or 120 as soon as possible, then you might want to augment your hatchet and get a bit of free or anyway low cost invention XP along the way. So the best way that I can tell so far to train invention through woodcutting is by crystallizing teak trees and how you want to do this is um, yeah you just use crystallize with light form active and chop the teak trees this is one of the fastest ways to train woodcutting in the game and it also is very good XP for your hatchets it takes about two hours 15 minutes to get a dragon hatchet to level 10 or about two hours to get a crystal hatchet to level 10 but I'm guessing for most of you probably don't want to be disassembling your crystal hatchet because it's 4,000 dust to make a new one and you're gonna run out of dust real quick if you go through crystal hatchets like that So I mean you can use the dragon hatchet as an option It's really not recommended though because it slows down your woodcutting so much So probably the best way to go about invention woodcutting is use a crystal hatchet do crystallized teak trees for your woodcutting training and then about every four hours you can siphon that thing at level 12 for a nice 460k invention XP drop. It's not the fastest way of training invention by any means, but it is pretty decent if you're planning on doing woodcutting anyway. Another decent way of going about invention woodcutting is through the crystal trees. Now this is much, much slower hatchet XP. It's gonna take you about three hours to get up to level 10 on your crystal hatchet. So it is very slow or six hours if you're siphoning. And if you are using a crystal hatchet, you're probably siphoning it. So this is not very good invention XP at all. But again, this is just another alternative. If you're doing crystal trees anyway, go ahead and augment your hatchet and get a little bit of extra invention XP along the way but this is definitely pretty slow. So just expect invention XP as like a small bonus rather than one of the main reasons you're going to be going out of your way to do some wood cutting for training this skill. Anyway, that's about all I have for this video. Go check out invention fishing. It's great. Uh, invention wood cutting is okay. And hopefully we'll get a lot more skills in the future that we can train with invention. Like I'm hoping to see mining, maybe some divination, Hopefully all the gathering skills at one point will have some way to uh, use augmented tools and gain some XP that way. But anyway, that's all for me. I'm off. So have a good one, guys, and farewell.